Hi, my name is Allison Muller, and I'm the Global Head of Marketing for Oracle Health Sciences. And I'm very pleased to have Rich Wolf, who is the Head of Pharmacovigilance Operations at CSL Bearing, with me here today. Welcome, Rich. Hey, Allison. Great to be here. Thanks very much. So just to uh, put a little context around our conversation, could you just tell me a little bit about CSL Bearing, please? Sure thing. So CSL Bearing is a 100 year plus old company uh, founded in Australia uh, that operates globally around the world. Um, we are base focused in rare and life threatening diseases. Uh, it's a plasma derived biotherapeutics company. When I joined for some context, our revenues were about 6 billion. Our uh, number of employees was 10,000. Our largest clinical study was about 200 uh, patients or subjects. And um, we had about 15,000 adverse events per year. And if I, I look across those figures today, revenue is over 10 billion. We have over 25,000 employees. We're midway through a 20,000 patient uh, subject study. Uh, we're approaching just about 50,000 adverse events per year. It's been a great company to grow with, although it's got a rich history before I got here. So when you think about the past three years even, were you seeing a trend, like an increase in the volume of adverse event reports um, happening or has it, has it really just uh, happened over the past year, would you say? No, I think I think historically, if you if you talk to people across pharma, you have to imagine ten to twenty percent across the board, and and it's while it's very difficult to predict precisely how you'll be impacted year on year, um, we're we're always seeing growth, and and if that's because uh, in in the Middle East, for example, um, the health authorities are uh, are trying to uh, embrace the safety reporting, um, motivate people to report more often. If it's uh, greater awareness in the United States, if it's uh, simpler applications that allow easier reporting, so we see this increase year over year. It's it's not something new. Um, I would say that it probably with the COVID vaccines, those numbers are, are rather extraordinary. The other thing I would say is that um, you know in the in the public domain, people who typically wouldn't have known what an adverse event have learned an awful lot through this COVID experience and I think that will that that's driven some of the increase as well. Can you talk to me a little bit about uh, some of the challenges that you are experiencing yourself or your team or that you may have heard from your peers uh, when you think about this you know this volume and variety uh, increases in safety uh, data? I think it, it the challenge as I said is it's not a new challenge it's one that um, most people in my position as the head of operations will be very familiar with. We, we're always asked to, to keep costs down so that uh, we can optimize the investment in clinical drug development um, so that we can keep focus on patient safety at the highest level. So the physicians watching over the benefit risk management of our products um, is able to be you know, sufficient so that that's where they can add the value. In, in case management, we've squeezed, we've, we've uh, often offshored or outsourced much of the case processing with appropriate oversight. Um, we've also uh, worked where possible to uh, automate some of some of the uh, case processing activities where possible. And even within Oracle's Argus, you, you have auto narrative and you have auto listedness and you have these things that people might not have thought of as, as automation, but that's in fact what it is. And what we've had to do over the past years is, is take it a step further. So the, in, at CSL, we're, we're developing uh, robotic process automation around non-value added tasks and activities that can allow our physicians to focus their time on that benefit risk management. We are considering natural language processing and actually introducing that around measure coding so that um, we can, again, you know, limit the amount of work done uh, on repetitive or fairly routine tasks, but still ensure we've got the right oversight. When it comes to artificial intelligence, it's a it's a it's a bigger hurdle, and and I know that some in industry have have embraced and adopted it, and are moving even into production with it. Uh, CSL is very conservative, and so we're watching carefully. We're developing an understanding and awareness of it, uh, and we know that our CEOs um, and leadership across companies are asking people like me, you know, if, if they can see these kinds of advances in other areas, why can't we see it in safety? It's it's one of our greatest challenges because it's a it's a function that has a virtually a zero tolerance for failures 
and yet we have this tremendous need for innovation. And I think this is one of the reasons that, you know, trying to find partnership with Oracle um, around the Argus platform is so important for people in my position.